Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining our virtual energy forum this afternoon. While we are playing it safe because of this weather today and can't be in a room together, which is a little bit disappointing, we are grateful for our technology team and our ability to do this meeting this afternoon virtually um, here at Lake Region. This energy forum is a great example of what electric cooperatives are all about, people. People working together at the local grassroots level, just like our founders did 85 years ago. The title of my presentation this afternoon is, Let's Build Our Energy Future Together. I am excited to share with you how we are engaging with members, how we are keeping our rates stable, how we are improving your reliability, and I want to share with you some of the member programs that we have developed as we strive to be your local provider of uh, energy services here at Lake Region. Let's start with member engagement. Um, this past year, we did a lot of member engagement. Here's a couple of the new opportunities for members to be more engaged with your cooperative. The first one is the coffee with the co-op. Another one there is the brews plus your views. We sent out um, messages to the members, inviting them to these coffee with the co-ops at favorite coffee shops and cafes around the service territory, invite members in, provide coffee and donuts in the morning, and uh, just talk shop about Lake Region, any concerns, any issues that members have, a great way to engage with our members. The Brews in Your Views is more of an, uh, an evening meeting at a, at a favorite restaurant or pub and provide hors d'oeuvres to the members. Again, just a great conversation in a small group or even one-on-one -on -one with our members. This is great engagement and great feedback that we receive from members. We also rolled out a virtual member advisory committee. Uh, this is an opportunity to use our technology. Uh, we're using a Facebook uh, platform to engage with our members. We can put a s short videos out there on a variety of topics. Uh, we can put questions out there on a variety of topics. Right now, this uh, virtual member advisory committee is having a conversation about renewable energy. Uh, it's a very robust discussion, as you can imagine, and just another great example of how we're trying to find new ways to engage with our members. Here's just a, a slide showing our service territory, the 3,200 miles that we serve um, in this area. These dots on this map are locations that we've had member, gauge, member engagement opportunities this past year, uh, widely spread across our footprint. I'm uh, really proud of the member engagement uh, opportunities that we're providing. Perhaps the best in, uh, news I can share this afternoon is the rate stability that we are enjoying right now at Lake Region. As you can see from this chart, it always hasn't been that way. But as we look to the future, we see stable rates. And the two big reasons for that, number one, Great River Energy is experiencing stable rates. Our wholesale power provider is, has stable rates. And when they can be stable, we basically can be stable also. The second big reason for our rate stability has to do with the new revenue streams that Lake Region has be able, been able to create in recent years. As we roll out new products and services, as we start new businesses, that brings in new revenue to the cooperative revenue that doesn't have to come out of our pockets in terms of our electric rates, helping us maintain that rate stability. We've had one rate increase in the last nine years. That was a 4.3% increase in 2017. The dual fuel rate that I use to heat our home has not changed since 2008. A lot of good news right now on the rate side. We know inflation is real in our economy. We're monitoring that closely. Hopefully, we can continue to work hard to keep your rates stable. We also um, work very hard to improve your reliability. Uh, John talked about the, the reliability at the generation transmission level. This is the distribution level reliability that we are, of course, focused on. You can see the trend line oh, in recent years or recent history. Uh, outages today are less than half of what they were back in the 2004-2005 time frame. We continue to reinvest heavily back into our local grid, both at the distribution level um, that we own and also at the transmission level that uh, with Great River Energy, making those system improvements, modernizing our grid, making it more resilient. 
Uh, we also invest a lot in tree clearing, as most members know, to keep those uh, trees out of those power lines. I want to draw your attention to the 2021 column here. We like to keep our average outage time per member below two hours per year. We were actually a little higher than that in 2021. The reason is we had a, had a lot of what we call planned outages. Hopefully you can see in that green shaded area, that 0.8 um, is just the amount of time uh, for planned outages in 2021. The reason for the high level of planned outages is because we were doing so many upgrades across our system and fairly significant projects that we needed to take planned outages to uh, convert those, those projects and bring them online. And uh, of course, when we have planned outages, we let you know ahead of time of when that's gonna take place. You can plan accordingly. And the good news there is if you had a planned outage in your area in 2021, chances are your reliability is gonna be better going forward because of those upgrades. I want to show you this kind of unique slide. Um, as you know, uh, financial strength is very important in an electric cooperative. Uh, the top line there, the kind of lighter green line that trends down over time, that is actually our debt to uh, percentage of total utility plant ratio. You can see that down, downward trend over the years. The more blue line that goes up over time, that represents our equity percentages our equity as a percentage of total assets. If you go back to that 2004, 2000 timeframe, you can see those lines were very far apart. The debt line was high, the equity line was low. Because of so many things we've done at Lake Region, that debt ratio was, was declining, the equity ratio was going up, and in 2021, those lines actually crossed and we achieved our long time goal of achieving 45% equity at Lake Region Electric. As members of this cooperative, the good news for that is your board of directors every year makes that decision of how much we should pay back to the members in terms of capital credit retirements. Uh, the board approved a $1.8 million retirement well, last fall. That is now nine consecutive years of record levels of capital credit retirements back to the members. Shifting gears a little bit, let's talk about uh, several of the energy services programs that Lake Region has for its members. We'll start with the demand response programs. We have 28 demand response programs. Uh, these programs vary from electric water heaters, electric space heating, irrigation units in the summertime, our new Go West solar program, um, electric vehicles as they um, come, on, come into the marketplace as well as standby generators for our commercial and industrial customers. We have 14,000 members who are actively engaged in one or more of these demand, resp uh, demand response programs. We have about 28,000 members total, so about half of our members are actively involved in a demand response program. This pie chart gives you a, an idea of of the, where the majority of those programs are. The largest one is our dual fuel uh, program. 6,106 members are part of that program. A water heater is another a major program for us. Uh, 5,600 members there um, participating in our water heating program. These are so valuable um, to us. I wanna show you just how valuable they are. This is a, a graph actually from about a year ago, from February of 2021. One, one of those cold days. With our demand response programs, what this chart shows you, without those demand um, response programs, our total load is projected to be up in this 100,000 kilowatt range. Because our members are actively involved with us on these demand response program, during those peak days, we can take that load by, by controlling those loads and our, and our load drops down to this level. Now the financial gain or benefit to Lake Region for that difference is a savings for that month alone is about seven, was about $761,000. On an annual basis, all of these 20 programs um, help us save about $4 million per year that eventually flows back to the membership in off-peak rates and helping us keep our rates stable. Thank you for participating in those programs. We wanna develop more programs for our members. Here is a, a slide on our new Aquanta water heater pilot program. For the members enrolled in this pilot program, it's a no cost 
um, a Quanta retrofitable water heater controller. You can see there on the top of that water heater that, that blue a Quanta box, uh, that's the unit we're talking about. The thing that's really cool about this is it's a cellular enabled controller with an app for your phone. Members control the water heater uh, when it works for them uh, from their smartphone during peak events. And with this pilot program, we'll study it, measure the advantage to us, figure out the e economics of it, and find a way to share that savings back to the membership. Yet another new program that we're working on, and it's in, its, in a pilot program, program right now is our new peak time rebate pilot program. Another example of an energy savings initiative aimed at encouraging people to reduce energy during those peak times, whether that's in the, the winter cold days or the, the summer hot days, and lowering those, those energy demands. The co-op will send a, a message to the member, a text message, an email, whatever you prefer, during those peak times and members can voluntarily reduce their demand usage. Again, we will analyze that reduction, figure out the economics of it, and find a way to share that value uh, back to the membership. Yet another new program that we're, we're studying and working on is our battery storage pilot program. This is a residential level um, battery storage a pilot program. We don't have the equipment here yet, so we're not as far along as we, we had hoped to be. But this pilot program is all about learning how battery storage can reduce Lake Region's peak um, events by taking homes off-grid um, by using stored energy. This would be a behind-the-meter a residential battery storage um, program owned by um, the member. Um, there's two main advantages to this concept. One is that we can lower that peak. But secondly, if we can have that storage in the house for the member, it could possibly carry them through a, a, a power outage um, at, at their home. So kind of two big value streams there for the members. Um, we also have a, a residential standby generator program, um, if you're ever interested in that. This is really a premium service for our members, those members that really need that peace of mind that if the power does go out, they've got their own standby generator there that can automatically come on and power their home. When we do new programs like this and start new, new businesses, it brings new revenue into Lake Region. We like to say it creates a new revenue stream. And when that happens, that also helps us keep our electric rates to the members stable. Uh, it's been a very popular program. Uh, our, our team uh, installed 90 generators last year and we have now installed 380 standby generators since we rolled this program out back in 2017. As you may know, we also started a natural gas distribution company called Lake Region Energy Services. Um, this has really been, uh, for me, a very motivating um, um, opportunity to bring new natural gas infrastructure to rural areas, to small towns, to people have, who have never had natural gas service before. This is all about helping our members and customers um, improve their quality of life because we are helping them save money in, by heating their homes. We estimate that we can save an average customer three to five hundred dollars per heating season. Who can't use an extra three to five hundred dollars per year in your family budget? Um, this was a, we started this in 2017 with, with zero customers. We now have over 1,000 natural gas customers and uh, this also benefits all of our electric rate payers because by starting this new natural gas company, we can take fixed costs off of the electric utility, off the electric rate, allocate those into the natural gas company and collect those fixed costs through the rates of the natural gas customers. It's a win-win. Um, this has been about improving the quality of life um, these pictures, I hope you can see them okay on the slide, but we're helping uh, schools lower their cost of, of heating their building. How awesome is that if we can free up some of their energy dollars with them and they can redirect those dollars into uh, uh, different educational programs for the students. This um, other picture is from the Dent community, the center there in Dent, um, lowering their heating costs each winter. Uh, making that valuable community center in Dent uh, more sustainable long term. Uh, we've helped churches uh, reduce their electric, or excuse me, energy costs by he heating costs. And how cool is that? 
Um, they can take those dollars and redirect them into the missions work or scholarships for the kids for Bible camp, whatever it may be in that community. And then at the bottom there, um, it's always one of my favorites to, to work with our, our family farmers to help them save money on their grain drying costs, help them save money on their heating their barns, their turkey barns, their dairy barns, et cetera. It's just been a great, great experience um, with this new natural gas company. Renewable energy, so happy and pleased that our cooperative, our members, our board of directors are forward looking, trying to bring on new technologies um, for our members. This is a picture taken from a drone here of uh, the, the headquarters here and, and some of the solar projects um, we've done. I hope you can see my pointer, but this uh, solar array right here, that was our first solar project here at Lake Region. That is a community solar project where we build it, own it, operate it, maintain it for our members. Members can buy a subscription, and then on their monthly bill, they get the, the solar bill credits every month for the next 20 years as, as a solar credit on their bill. That unit sold out, fully subscribed, and so we built the, the second unit, which is right down here. Um, half of that is a community solar project. That also is fully subscribed. Based on feedback we are getting from our membership, there is additional interest to do perhaps another community solar project. So that's something we're going to be studying further in the near term. The smaller solar array right here, that's a kind of a display model, if you will, of our residential Go West solar program. Um, here's a picture of one of our members who, is, who has uh, bought a Go West solar system um, from us at his farm. Um, looking a little closer at this picture, it's, it's really kind of cool. You obviously can see the, the big solar array here uh, from Lake Region. Um, if you hope you can see this tower back here, maybe, maybe you can't, but there's actually a small a wind turbine there as well. And then back here in, uh, on this picture, this vehicle right here, uh, that's an electric vehicle um, that this member has. So you think about our energy industry, the transition, how things are changing so fast to think that this one member has wind, solar, and electric vehicle there at his farm. Just a great example of how fast things are changing and how things are evolving, and we absolutely want to be a big part of that. Um, this wind solar project is by far our largest renewable energy project that we've done so far. I'm so happy that Dan Jewell is here to speak after me. I'm not going to steal his thunder. I'm going to let him talk about it. But um, it's been a great project for us. In, in one project, of course, we get the wind production and the solar. It's a 2.3 megawatt wind turbine, a half a megawatt of solar. And I like just to say the great thing about it is it's local renewable production. And it's tied right back in and inter interconnected right back into the distribution system that you as members of Lake Region already own. And it's consumed locally by our members. So as the power supply becomes cleaner, what opportunities does that create for Lake Region? Kind of a new term out there um, in our industry is beneficial electrification. I want to talk just a little bit about that. As our power supply becomes cleaner, um, this does create an opportunity for us to further electrify our economy and hopefully save our consumers money. The, one of those good examples of, of beneficial electrification is with electric vehicles. The picture here is a, is a picture of a Ford Mach-E. That is the next electric vehicle that Lake Region is, is going to be bringing into our fleet. Um, it's on order. It's not here yet. But we're going to put this right into our fleet and our operations department. It's going to be used heavily every day, day in and day out. We're going to learn a lot more from um, this vehicle. Um, when it's plugged in at night, um, a lot of the electricity that's going to be charging that electric vehicle because of the location here at the headquarters, which is close to our, our wind solar um, hybrid project, a lot of that energy is going to be renewable, which is, which is kind of exciting for us as well. Um, as electric vehicles uh, continue to grow in the market and, and maybe in a rural area, cold climate, you know, it won't come on as quickly here as other places across the nation. But um, we absolutely want to work with our members who are interested in electric vehicles. We've already got two um, electric vehicle rate options for our members. One's an electric storage rate. 
Um, the other is a time of use rate. The electric storage rate is, is a rate where it's very low cost, 4.8 cents a kilowatt hour, uh, charging only at night. If you do the conversion of that, um, 4.8 cents a kilowatt hour, that's equivalent to a 32 cent per gallon of gas. Um, I am old enough to remember when gas was that cheap. Uh, my dad pumped gas on the weekends and I hung around with him down there and I can remember those days. Um, and then we have a time of use rate where at different times of the day, the cost of electricity is going to change. But we want to absolutely work with you as electric vehicles are adopted. We also have some rebates available to help cover some of the expense of um, the level two chargers that we, some of us will have in our, our garage someday. Maybe a smaller example of beneficial electrification here at Lake Region Electric is, is our uh, small grow shed that's out in the front of our headquarters um, here. When you go inside that little grow shed, here's what you see. We are using hydroponics technology and LED lights to grow fresh vegetables here in very cold Minnesota this time of year. And those vegetables are brought down to Larry's supermarket here in town and, and sold. Um, the idea there is, is to kind of match up the, the local uh, renewable energy sources with opportunities like this. Um, and maybe someday we could do a larger hydroponics um, project in our service territory. Well, back to our wind solar hybrid project. At this time, I'm, I'm going to turn it over um, to Dan Jewell. He's going to talk a little bit more about our, our wind solar hybrid project. Um, Dan's just a, a tremendous leader in the renewable energy area. Um, really thankful that he's worked with Lake Region on, on more than just the wind solar hybrid project. I'm going to tee up this short video. This is a GE turbine, a very unique project. GE came up a few years ago when this came online and did a, did a video for, it, for us. And we wanted to show it at this time. And after the video, uh, Dan will take over at that point. 